I know a little bit of a different video. Typically, I'm outside or something. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys like a short inside look of like how you edit a WordPress website. Very simple, very straightforward. There's plenty of options out there. And sorry for the weird camera angle. I'm in my room. It's not set up for lighting or for camera. So it's a little weird. But um, you have like me here. I use WordPress. I've been using WordPress since 2011 and 11, 12. I've used it on my website, on my local, you know, business website, on Detail Groove, on other clients that I used to work for. It was, it was always WordPress. So I'm very, very familiar and comfortable with WordPress. There's Wix, Squarespace, there's um, GoDaddy has, like there's plenty of options out there. Uh, it's all about just like going through it and going through that learning curve of actually using it. So me, I'm very, very, very comfortable with WordPress. Someone else that's using Wix, Squarespace will be completely lost. If I go to Squarespace right now, I'd be completely lost on how to use Squarespace. So it just depends. But here on, and please don't email me or call me on my phone if you're not a customer. Like, it, please don't call or text me. It just, that's, you can email me if you want at oscar at detailgroup.co. But please don't call or email me at my business, um, business information. So here's my website. I actually want to take off this, um, this headlight restoration service just because I haven't updated it in a while. And I'm going to stop offering that service for a little bit. So I want to take it off just because I don't want to, you know, I don't want people to see that I offer that service and then I don't actually offer that service. And my website is actually needs to be updated. Um, I've been kind of putting it on the back burner because I've had so many projects go on. So actually before I do that, um, so to I'm going to remove the um, the headlight restoration tab right here. And unfortunately, it's also here right here. Um, but I'll, I'll worry about that later. I'm going I'm to just take off the, the tab itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in and please, again, don't call or text me at my business information for business advice as I'm just going to ignore it because my phone's ringing the entire day and I can't just stop and reply to a text that's not related to running a business to, um, to customers. Um, okay. So here, like, like this is like, if, if this is your first time being in WordPress, you're going to be like, Oh my God, that's a lot of things because I guess it is if you're not used to it, but simply I'm going to go here to appearance appearance menus uh these are our blog posts and then this is the menu bar this is your your, your menu structure so if we go back to um just open up a new tab here if we go back to the website you'll see it says home see our work exterior and then within the exterior uh section you have all these tabs interior you have all these tabs about us you have all these tabs and then contact us and that's uh, replicated here. Like whatever you change here reflects the menu. So here I have home, see our work, just the same order as this one, since that's what it, that's how it controls it. So here, since I want to move the, since I want to remove the headlight restoration tab, I'm simply going to go to headlight restoration, and then remove, and then save menu, and then it's going to save. So once that's done, I'll just go back here, refresh this website web page. Let it load, and then um, ba -ba 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 -ba, it loads up again. I go to exterior, and then boom, headlight restoration tab is gone. Now I have to edit this later, um, and remove that. And I, I have to. I have a lot of work to do on the website, like a lot of work that I've been putting off. Um, but let me just stop that I'm here. Let me show you a page. Um, again, I'm very comfortable with the specific with WordPress and the specific theme that I'm using. So with WordPress, like WordPress is what you use to create your website and then you can create, there's thousands of themes that you can choose off that work off of, um, off of WordPress. So here I'm creating a new engine cleaning page. Like right now, if you look at it, it's pretty horrid. Um, just because I don't know how long ago I created this or yeah, how long I created this ago, or, or, but if you look at this, what's that, yeah, like, it's super basic, right, like, super plain, not much going to it, I have a lot of work to do on the website, and, um, but this is one that I'm working on right now, which is this one, uh, I don't think there's anything I need to cover up, yeah, so, um, so this is how it looks on the back end. Again, it's gonna look super confusing to you if you're not familiar with WordPress and if you're not familiar with the theme that I'm specifically using. Uh, I'm using Salient, S-A-L-I-N-T theme. Uh, so this is what it looks on the back end. Like this is the headline, this is that. 
This is the text. Like, this is how it looks to build the web page. It looks confusing. It is confusing if you've never used it. But then when you go to preview it, this is the actual, this is how it looks like um, when you actually view it. So I'll give it a second to load. So it's like this. So it just has the headline. Learn more and it drops. Well, I need to create a, a jump. But you, you click this button and it'll scroll down to right here. Or maybe right here. I haven't decided yet. You click this button and it plays a one minute promotion of video that it just goes through. Um, it just it just shows you a one minute video of me cleaning and dressing. And I'm gonna do that for I'm gonna do this for every page that I have. It's gonna take a while to rewrite the copy and I have to I have a video for most things that I do. Um, but I'll have to create a video. And then it has the text, it has the pricing, it has an FAQ. It has uh, you can check out the work. So you can check out the work there. And then you have schedule your service and then you have testimonials here. And then that's it. So I'm gonna re essentially replicate this theme across all the pages that I have. But just wanted to show you guys like a quick inside look at WordPress. It is rather confusing like Squarespace. And if, if you guys are looking for a website, I would either recommend WordPress or Squarespace. If you're not just, if you know you're not very tech savvy, you haven't spent that much time using different softwares and technology and such, I'd definitely go with Squarespace because it is a lot more straightforward. It is, it is user friendly. I've used it a few times and I did like it. Like it is a lot more straightforward. There's still going to be a decent learning curve for you in terms of how to actually implement everything. But that goes with any software. Like again, if I go right now to Wix or to Squarespace or to GoDaddy, I will be 100% lost because I'm not familiar with that software. I don't know the ins and outs. Here in WordPress, when it comes to just about anything, or at least, and even figuring things out that I'm not sure of, it's rather straightforward and easy for me just because I spent so many years here learning the ins and outs of, of, of you know, maneuvering through uh, WordPress. Now, it's not like here on this one or on, um, there's no code. Like, I'm, I, I've never, I mean, maybe I write a few lines of code, like super, super, like the most absolute basic lines of code, but like, not even code, HTML. Um, so it's like, regardless of which one you go to, like it's, they're both, you don't have to write any code. Like you don't have to go out there in the editor and like write your own, whatever, you know, that's not necessary on either platform, but here it is a bit more technical than Squarespace. So if you're just want to get started, a lot more straightforward, user-friendly, I do go for Squarespace, but you do have a lot more customization with WordPress. But again, there's that big learning curve. So I'll just end the video right here. Just wanted to give you guys a short, small glimpse into WordPress, making a small edit, and just how the back and end looks a little bit. Sorry for the quality again. It's not what I typically use. I'm using a Logitech Pro, but the lighting's terrible. The angle of the camera's weird. So just want to show you guys a quick video. Uh, I'll see you on the next one.